This is NEC News Today. I'm Jeremiah McKinnon with NECnewstoday.com. Here now are the top cannabis news stories from around New England for the second week of March 2022. This week, cannabis business applicants and licensees in Massachusetts were informed of a data breach that occurred at the Cannabis Control Commission's partner for employee background checks, Creative Services, Inc. Creative Services identified suspicious computer activity on November 26, 2021. This activity was later found out to be a malicious actor who gained access to their internal servers. According to the notice, information including the name, date of birth, social security number, and or driver's license number of commission applicants and licensees may have been accessed. For those who may be affected, Creative Services is sending notice by mail including how to enroll with credit monitoring services that they will pay for. For more information about this incident, please visit necnewstoday.com. In medical cannabis news this week, a boy in Massachusetts with severe autism found his voice with the help of medical cannabis. Speech can be an incredibly difficult skill for children with severe autism to develop. Following 10 days of medical cannabis therapy, a young boy from Marlboro became verbal. His mother explained that at the age of six, her son Mark was out of control and destructive. He was breaking televisions, iPads, and used his head to break through a fish tank. Once she started medical cannabis therapy, his behavior began to improve. Dr. Ben Kaplan is one of only a handful of doctors who is registered with the state to provide medical cannabis certifications to pediatric children in Massachusetts. Dr. Kaplan noted in the news piece presented on CBS Boston that the benefits of medical cannabis are often hidden behind a wall of stigma within the medical community. Check out our website to find out more about this heartwarming story. In Kittery, Maine this week, the lottery system for cannabis businesses has caught the attention of several parties, including the state attorney general's office. Officials are facing backlash for a controversial lottery process that was used to determine who could move forward to apply for the town's three cannabis retail licenses. One outstanding issue with the town's pre-application lottery was that the process did not prevent businesses from setting up several entities and submitting more than one pre-application in the lottery drawing. For example, Theory Wellness co-founders spent more than $250,000 to submit enough pre-applications to represent over half of the entries in the lottery. This drew the attention of the Maine Assistant Attorney General, Katie Johnson, who discovered that the lottery was conducted without a license from the Gambling Control Unit. In a response to the Assistant Attorney General's inquiry, Kittery representatives stated that the lottery was not illegal and that applicants' attempts to manipulate the licensing process was not an intended consequence. I have a feeling that this is just the start of this story. Please go to our website for more updates. Part of the fun and excitement of living in or around a legal cannabis state like Massachusetts is trying the seasonal items. With spring steadily approaching, Levia recently released its new spring seasonal orange blossom seltzer. We had a chance to try it here at NEC News today. The product has beautifully designed artwork that definitely makes it stand out. For the full review, as well as photos, please check out necnewstoday.com. In Connecticut this week, legislators introduced legislation that would impose strict rules and penalties for gifting cannabis. The Connecticut legislation would establish a $10,000 fine or a one-year jail sentence for violators. The bill would prohibit gifting, selling, or transferring cannabis to another person in exchange for a donation for any purpose, including but not limited to charitable donations or donations made to gain admission to an event. This controversial legislation emerged following a conflict between Hamden officials and the organizers of High Bazaar events. An injunction has now stopped High Bazaar from continuing its events in Hamden. Cannabis advocates who opposed the bill characterized it as an attempt to recriminalize cannabis. For more information on the bill, as well as links to the text of the bill, please visit necnewstoday.com. March in Massachusetts is turning out to be a meet and greet season for cannabis brands and celebrities. First, we have a meet and greet with Mike Tyson, who stopped by two Massachusetts cannabis dispensaries on March 10th, including Ascend in Boston and Cannabis in Lowell. In December, Cannabis announced their exclusive partnership to launch the Tyson 2.0 brand in Massachusetts. Described as undefeated cannabis, the brand includes popular strains, animal mints, cookies and cream, citrus berry, and more. 
Tyson visited Ascend in the morning and took photos with fans and handed out autographs. The heavyweight champion also met the first 100 customers in line at the Cannabis in Lowell around 4 p.m. A meet and greet is scheduled at Resonate in Worcester for fans to meet Capadonna of Wu-Tang Clan on March 11th. This meet and greet will promote a new strain collaboration and the release of Capadonna's newest album. The new strain is called Cappuccino and all event goers will experience the exclusive release of Capadonna's new album, Slow Motion. Capadonna recently took to Instagram to promote the new strain. Capadonna will be visiting the Worcester Dispensary to meet fans and sign autographs between 5 and 8 p.m. Dazed Cannabis is hosting another event at their Holyoke Dispensary, this time featuring the rapper Benny the Butcher. The rapper is scheduled to visit the store between 7 and 9 p.m. on March 19th. Music will be provided by DJ Ohms and DJ Prince. The event is free. Tickets are not required. Guests must be 21 years or older and bring their ID to gain entry. For more information on these meet and greets, please visit necnewstoday.com. In other Massachusetts news this week, Attorney General Maura Haley, who is currently running for governor of Massachusetts, stated that she did not regret opposing legal marijuana. She told Jim Browdy of Greater Boston on GBH News that she did not regret her stance on the 2016 ballot initiative. She said she was concerned about the effect it could have on young people with respect to use, with respect to addiction, and with respect to mental health. Now, however, she is committed to put an equity lens on everything, as she noted in the interview. Her appointees to the Cannabis Control Commission have been social justice advocates. She also said that she believes the benefits of legal marijuana should go to individuals in communities that have been disproportionately impacted by what she called an ill-guided war on drugs. For more information on this interview, go to necnewstoday.com. This week, a number of new cannabis dispensaries have opened in New England. Medical marijuana patients living in the Jamaica Plain neighborhood of Boston will now have access to tax-free medical marijuana at Apotheca's new 54 Hyde Park Avenue dispensary. Apotheca is celebrating their grand opening over a four-day period between March 9th and 12th. Apotheca has partnered with LeafWell, a cannabis certification platform, to provide medical marijuana certifications for half the usual price. For the promo code to get the certification for half price and for more info on the grand opening celebration, please visit necnewstoday.com. The Cannabis Collective has become the first operator in Massachusetts to open two dispensaries in one day. The stores opened on March 5th and a grand opening is scheduled for March 11th. Their goal is to offer a rich assortment of products for their customers to choose from. The store plans to initially sell 47 different strains of marijuana, with further plans to ramp up to offering 260 different cannabis products. Other dispensary openings include Pleasant Trees in Amherst, Massachusetts, and Silver Therapeutics in South Portland, Maine. For all the latest information on cannabis dispensaries opening around New England, as always, please visit necnewstoday.com. In technology news, Dreamer Dispensary in Southampton has been working with a third-party platform, Rethink, to allow its customers to pay by credit card for their cannabis. Since mid-February, Dreamer Dispensary in Southampton has been allowing their customers to pay for their cannabis using their credit card. Normally, because of the federal illegality of cannabis, a dispensary cannot process a credit card transaction. Rethink uses blockchain technology to process the payment quote, on a parallel channel and stays off the credit card networks, unquote, according to Dreamer's representatives. The convenience of paying with credit card unfortunately comes at a price. There is a 6% fee added to purchases. The convenience factor is also high, with customers able to pay for their cannabis using American Express, Apple Pay, or Google Pay. For more information on this story, please visit necnewstoday.com. Mission Dispensaries, with locations in Georgetown, Worcester, and Brookline, have joined forces with RASM to provide support for civilians facing extreme circumstances in Ukraine. RASM is one of a handful of verified charities helping Ukraine. RASM means together in Ukrainian, and according to their website, this serves as a constant reminder of the community that it takes to create, build, and do big things. Mission is encouraging their customers to donate by visiting a Mission dispensary or by visiting rasmforukraine.org. For more information, including a link to the fundraiser, please visit our website. 
By the way, our website also contains several upcoming Massachusetts-based community outreach meetings where you can learn more about cannabis operators possibly coming to your community. For the absolute latest New England cannabis news, head on over to necnewstoday.com and follow us on all your favorite social media platforms. If you're enjoying the show, be sure to like this video, subscribe to NEC News Today for more great content, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an episode of the show. For New England Cannabis News Today, this is Jeremiah McKinnon reminding you to always use cannabis responsibly and to enjoy your cannabis-filled adventures throughout New England.